Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, I want to look at the smooth and curved question of how to create rounded borders in Photoshop. I'm going to start off with the traditional technique. I've created a layer mask in the shape of a rectangle, and that gives us a rectangular border around the image. What I want to do is to produce curved corners in the layer mask. And to do that, I'm going to click on the layer mask. I'm going to go to Filter, Noise, Median and the median filter allows us to smooth the corners inside any image including a layer mask so I'm gonna hit OK at 100 pixels which is the maximum that we can do this produces a rounded effect in the corners but there is a fairly sharp transition between the original straight line and the curved corner so I'm gonna go again to the filters noise median and I'm going to reapply the filter and what that does is to create slightly more smooth corners if we, instead of working with the layer mask, we're working with the selection, the te technique is to go to Select, Modify, Smooth, and again, if that's not smooth enough, we just simply repeat, and that creates a slightly smoother selection. So that's how to create smooth borders using the median filter or the smooth command. This is a bit cumbersome, I think, and you might find the other technique I'm going to show you a slightly better one. This other technique involves using the shape tool. I'm going to choose the shape tool and I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle tool. And again, what I'm going to do is to draw a shape which is in the form of the border that we want. And next, I'm just going to drag the mask, the vector mask, onto the layer that we want to apply the border to. And I can delete the shape itself. And what that does is that it allows us to use the vector mask as a layer mask and this is to my mind slightly more versatile than the other technique as we can create very smooth borders from a radius of one all the way up to a thousand so to my mind this is a lot more versatile and a lot easier to use with large images than the other technique but the choice is up to you so I hope you found that useful if you did please leave a comment rate the video and possibly subscribe for more videos thanks for watching